morning, it's Eric Johnson from Air Throws Nation, and in this video, what we're going to do is another terminology um, video, and we're going to talk about the basics of the heel-toe position. So the heel-toe position, you'll, you, you should have heard in many times, is a real basic thing. We're talking about your, your delivery side foot heel lines up with the toe of your block leg. Okay, so that's your heel-toe position. And what we have, what we want to understand is that if so, if I'm throwing in this direction, you're going to see that I'm going to line up and I'm going to be heel-toe. In this particular circle, I have a line. On my ball, the foot's on, I'll put my heel on the ball of that foot and my toe is behind that. And you're going to see how I have this split position. It's a super basic term and it's a thing, but again, each and every year when I, when I work with brand new throwers or coaches that are entering coaching for the first time, they're not entirely sure what that is. And the reason that we want a heel toe position is that when we rotate into the throw, we want to have the ability for our hips to open up. If we're heel heel, we're going to kind of be turning on this tightrope. And really what's going to happen with the amount of time that occurs in a throw through the delivery at such a very short period of time, so many tenths of a second, that we're not going to be able to get our hips through the throw on rotational throws or, for that matter, even a glide. So <clears throat> the heel toe applies to the glide. Because the glide's a little bit more linear, you may, some, some people prefer not to have as big of a heel toe, but you still have that stagger because the hips have to be able to turn into the direction of the throw. So if I go too far, you notice I'm going to pull myself off my right and I'm, I'm going to have a hard time getting the delivery side through and what we're going to have is energy going this way out of the sector and the implements so we have a, a divergence of energies at the transfer point, right? So we have our everything splitting across instead of coming together and transferring out. And if we land too closed, right? So if we land here and we're not heel toe and say we're the opposite heel toe where we have heel toe, you're gonna see this is where you'll get a lot of sector fouls. The foot comes down, the hips can't get around to here and I'm most likely gonna throw a sector foul. So this little simple thing of heel toe alignment is really critical and it's really important to understand. And a lot of times I'll see throwers setting up too much, setting up not quite staggered enough and then on their full throws, you're going to see them putting the foot down. And that's usually going to relate to other problems beyond uh, of how they enter the power position. Not that they just don't know how, but there are plenty of drills and things that teach you how to do that right. So the point of this video is to help you understand heel toe positions, a really simple concept again, but it's really important for you to understand. And then that's really setting those feet. Those are those fundamental things that make a huge difference on your ability to improve faster and understand what's happening in the throw using the right language as part of developing as a thrower and as a coach. And so we hope this video helps you do just a bit. And if you found it helpful, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, visit AritaeThrowsNation.com for more throwing information and videos, and we'll see you in the next video.